Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be how I've organized Penelope's stuff in her nursery. I do already have a nursery tour up, so if you kinda wanna see the details of her nursery, I'll link that up above. We're over here, I don't know what side it's gonna be on. And I'll also link it down below for you guys if you wanna see that. But today is more like organizing videos. I don't know why I'm like looking in here. I should look there. You can see me now, right? Um, but probably by the time you're watching this, I've already had Penelope. I'm like pre-filming a bunch. She's actually, today is Tuesday, and they're actually inducing her on Thursday. So in two days, here's a little bump. So yeah, if you wanna kind of follow me in real time and like probably see what Penelope looks like by now and everything, I'll leave my Instagram handle down below somewhere. We'll link to it so you can click on it. That's the best place to follow me for real time, but I did still wanna get up this video for you guys. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first this is her little changing table and we'll get into this first. So I have some diapers here ready to go. I'll show you where I'm stocking up the rest of the diapers, but I just have some ready to go here. I have oh, some wipes ready to go with a backup underneath. This is a changing pad to kind of put on top of there when I change her. I put a little toy in here in case like if she's fussy and like needs something kind of noisy and stimulating to distract her, you know? So I put that there in case. Then I have some hand and face wipes. So if she's a little dirty, I can just like touch her up, you know what I mean? And then here I have some gripe water. My Tia actually got this for me because she watched me when I was a baby and I was really colicky and had a lot of gas. So she's like, if she's like her mommy, I got this for you, which I thought was so cute. But it relieves occasional stomach discomfort from gas, colic, fussiness, and hiccups, free of dyes, alcohols, and parabens. So I have that in here, like kind of anything to deal with like her health, wellness, upkeep, diaper changing. I found this on Amazon for when she starts teething. It's like a little infant teething toothbrush. I thought it was so cute. So I'll try to link this down below for you. Then I have a thermometer for when she gets sick. In here I kind of just have her baby powder. <laughs> I've actually already dipped into this and opened it because I have been chafing so bad on my legs. So mommy borrowed your powder, Penelope. <laughs> I got her this little like wooden brush set. I also picked this up from Amazon. I'll try to link that for you too. Little booger sucker, nail clippers. This is diaper ash cream from the Honest Company. I also have Desitin as well. I don't know what I'll be using. I have some Lancino cream. This is actually for me. I do plan on nursing, so there's that. This my friend Kaylin got and like I took some stuff out like I think it came with the nail clippers and the nose sucker but it has a little thermometer and like medicine things as well then over here I just have some lotion for her so I can lotion her up I have some calming lavender and vanilla and then I just have this they're both Aveeno baby I have this daily moisture one fragrance free I don't know how sensitive her skin's gonna be so that's that drawer Ugh, sit down. So next drawer, I have her pajamas, her onesies, and her pants that currently fit her now. When we go over to her closet, I'll show you kind of how I've organized her clothes because she has clothes all the way up until 12 months, which is freaking awesome. But I wanted to keep her, these type of things, like her pajamas, her onesies, things that I'm gonna be washing and having to refold a lot. I don't really want them hung up cause that's just more of a pain in the butt than it is to just like roll them up and throw them in here, you know what I mean? So all of these are either like newborn or zero to three months. So they'll fit her right now. So yeah, her little pajamas, her little pants and everything like that that'll fit her right now. Then I have just some plain, these are all onesies and I did use the roll up method. It's quick and easy and can fit a lot of stuff. So there's that and then here we have some receiving blankets and swaddle blankets for her. And these little bins I picked up from the Dollar Tree. So these are kind of handy. Did I have those in here? Oh, this bin, these clear bins I had in here, I picked up any kind of bins I got from the Dollar Tree. So that's a really good place 
don't go crazy buying expensive ones just try a dollar store so the bottom drawer is like more feeding having to do with feeding so i have um some nursing pads for myself here i have breast milk storage bags i have burping cloths these are so cute these are from burt's bees if you know my channel like you know like we have a thing for bees it's like jesse's thought those little spirit animals so i just i love bees for her then we have a bunch of bibs here. I've got regular bibs. I've got these cute little bandana bibs. We literally had to buy none of these. They were all gifted to us, which is really, really nice. And then here I have a nursing cover. And then this here is, ugh, I forget what they're called, but it's like one of those things so you can wrap them and wear them. But my sister-in-law actually gave that to us. She used it for her baby and her baby is three now. All right, so if you saw the room tour, you would have already seen these. These bins are from Target. They're super cute and soft. And I just have all of her little hats in here, anything that's gonna like completely cover her head. These I got in a little pack at Amazon. They're so freaking cute. So she's got all her little hats. And then in the next bin, I have all of her bows. So these are more just like headband type things. And where's the, oh yeah, here it is. So cute to match her little booties. I think she had the Gucci one too. Oh yeah, here it is. So freaking cute. So yeah, those are her bows. Then in there are her little books. Those are her hard books that she can play with when she's a baby. And then those are her like paperback books. So now I did want to show you really quick under her bed, a little trick. If you have a lot of diapers, oh God, dog hair, we have to vacuum. But I have all, it's like stuffed full, like deep in there. <laughs> but we're storing all her little diapers in there. And then we're also storing some in here as well. So here's her closet. It's very hard to see back there, but we have diapers and wipes and stuff back there. And this closet is so deep, but we have things that we haven't set up yet. She's not born yet, so yeah, we've got her swing, which we'll set up when she comes home. We've got her bouncer back there, a walker, high chair, like all of that kind of stuff, like toys that she's going to play with later on. These actually, my doctor's little son gave these to her. It's so sweet. He is the sweetest little boy, and he like brought her a bunch of little toys. It's just oh, so sweet. So yeah. So that's those, and then this is gonna be set up like ASAP. So this is her pack and play. We plan on having her sleep in this by our bed because it has like a thing that raises up like a bassinet type thing. So that we're gonna be putting together within a couple days. Same thing, this nursing pillow, I'll probably be using ASAP. I just have an empty basket here in case things come up. Kids, some more diapers back there. This is a really pretty like swan like flat lay she can do tummy time on that and then up here we've just stored like all kinds of stuff that again we're gonna be using but we don't really have a home for yet like that thing is gonna be so helpful i don't know if you can see but it's like a little mat to put in your shopping cart or like in a high chair when you go out to eat so she doesn't get germs. The box to her baby monitor, which we still have to put up. This thing is freaking cool too. It's like, so it's like a jumper and it hooks up to a doorway and it's just like this little harness so she can jump. Jesse and I are both volleyball players. So we're like, yes, we're gonna start her jump training. <laughs> I have my breast pump here. This is just like kind of like a little seat for her, like just to sit, super cool. And it's got like a little attachment for toys. So yeah, just a bunch of stuff up there. More more diapers more diapers and then in this bag I have everything she's gonna be needing when she starts eating and like her bottles and stuff so I have spoons I have this little drying station like bottle cleaners I have a bunch of samples of formula if for some reason in case she needs to have formula so yeah anything having to do with like eating and food is in there here are her little bath toys for when she starts taking a bath this is just like an empty box i'll show you where her shoes are right now but this is a box one of her shoes came in here again these bins i got at the dollar store i just have like miscellaneous stuff in here like this is supposed to go to her car seat i just haven't put it on there yet i have like coupons i have these plugs i have to go put around i have like instruction books and manuals for 
her car seat and her stroller, like anything like paperwork wise, I just have in there. So now to get into the organization of her clothes. So basically anything on this rack here are things she can wear right now or like pretty soon. So I separated it. All of these hangers are like one color. Like I think that's really helpful. You'll, you'll see as we get into that stuff. I color coordinated based on the hangers and these little hangers I find at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods has the best selection. So basically this stuff is her newborn stuff. I separated it by an empty tan colored hanger and this is gonna be her zero to three section. So here I have empty hangers and oh my gosh, to take little newborn pictures of her. How freaking sweet, they're little angel wings. I got this off Wish actually, which I'll link that video down below for you guys. I did a Wish baby girl haul. Same thing with this tutu and this little headband. I picked that up from Wish. So we're gonna do a photo shoot and cute little outfits. These are all her newborn outfits and again so i have all her onesies pajamas and pants like kind of everyday clothes and sleepers in the dresser but for like when i take her out like actual outfits or what i have hung up here look how cute this little robe is you guys it's like a unicorn so freaking sweet i think my sister and stepmom got that for her and this oh my gosh a member at my work made this it's a baptism gown it's so pretty she made a matching blanket to go with it too but anyways that's her newborn stuff and then now we have everything zero to three months and if you notice everything is here so once she starts fitting into these is when i will like so here i have her pajamas right like Oh, these are so cute all her little PJs with the oh these are nice I keep hearing these are so handy like these little sleeper sacks so that's how I have it organized I have all the pajamas and so when she starts fitting in here I'm gonna take all these down and move these into there where the newborn ones are and then the newborn ones I'm gonna throw oh maybe that's what I'll do with this basket I'll throw all her clothes that she is too big for like in here and then when I have time, I'll go ahead and wash them and fold them and like put them away. So as she ages, she'll always have what fits her hanging up outfit wise here. And then like function wise, it'll always be in the drawers. So then I kind of have her little onesies and I just went ahead and any pants, I just picked a onesie that it would match with and I just shoved them in there. So that's kind of what I did with those. And like she's got her little outfits and everything like that. Oh, this one's so cute. I don't know why I love swans. So freaking cute. And then I just have her plain onesies back here. Which again, when she can fit in these, those are going to be rolled up and put in there. So then once we move on to these, I'll go to the next size, which I think these are what, six months? Yeah, so then the six months I'll put up here again and separate, you know what I mean? That way they're accessible. So yeah, like conveyor belt style. Everything's just gonna keep moving. <laughs> but this is really cute. It actually came with my crib set and it's just another place I can put her dirty clothes or something. So all of these are gonna be, oh, actually these are all three to six months, I think. Let's see. Yeah, three to six months. Then we have the light gray, which is gonna be her six month. Then we have the tan, which is gonna be her nine month clothing. And then we get into the gray, which is gonna be 12 months. So that's kind of how I have it sorted. So I can tell right away like, oh, okay, this group is all one sizing, this group is all one sizing, and this group is all one sizing, you know what I mean? So let's look at a couple of her cute little outfits. Oh, this actually is supposed to go here. Because how I have it is I have her pajamas first. And then I have her little outfits. Like, oh, this is another one I got off Wish. So I have her little outfits. My sister actually picked this one up. We found this at freaking Goodwill. Isn't this so cute? It's got little pants with footies on them. Oh, so cute. And then we have her onesies. Oh my gosh, this is freaking adorable. Like, I cannot wait to put her in this. Her uncle, Kayvon. <laughs> His name's Kevin, but I call him Kayvon. <laughs> but her uncle Kevin got this for her, so cute. And then same thing, next sizing, we have pajamas first, then little outfits, then onesies towards the back. And this, oh my God, her Papa Nick got this for her. 
Isn't this freaking, it's so hard to see, but it's just like a little like bunny bear suit. It totally reminds me of on Christmas Story. <laughs> it's so freaking cute. I can't wait to put her in it. So yeah, that's how I organized her clothes. Now let's move to her dresser. So here I just have some more, I have some uh, little stuffed animals and toys in there. It's just like a little bin if you saw her nursery tour. And then I also have some up here, like just some cute little special ones. My grandma got her this. So cute. And then this I'll probably switch up. I just haven't had a time yet, but I got a little message board here. That's, that was our announcement. Look how little she was. And then I have her baby book right here, like easily accessible. That way if she does something, I can run, grab this and throw it in here. And I have some of her like special cards and stuff like that, so have that there the first thing I have is her little shoes like oh my gosh look at how freaking cute we announced our pregnancy with these and I actually have matching ones they're so cute if you saw my Walmart shoe haul I got all of these at Walmart and all of these I picked up from Wish. Again, that Wish haul will be down below. Her Nina Chucky got these. Jessie's sister, her little slippers. These I got from Wish too, their little gladiator sandals. And then over here I have her little socks. These are kind of like decorative socks. And then I have her little hand covers in here. Again, all these bins I picked up from Dollar Tree. Next drawer, I have her bathing stuff. So like she's got little towels and everything like that this one's a unicorn so cute i have her baby wash here these are little washcloths aren't these freaking adorable then i got more washcloths here i have some little like snuggle blankies i have to put this up this is her baby monitor here i have a bunch of binkies in case she ends up liking those Next drawer, I have her blankets. This is like a little pillow, like a little neck rest pillow. I've got extra bedding. This is like an extra changing pad cover. One of Jessie's friends from work actually made this for her. So cute, isn't that crazy? It's got a little pee, oh, I gotta show you guys. So she made matching little booties. And oh, let me show you guys that really quick. It's in here. She made a little narwhal hat untuck the tail a little narwhal had to go with it like how freaking cute is that so yeah i just had to show you guys that but yeah so she's got her blankets and then my aunt amy actually made this for her so sweet my aunt makes the best quilts like she's like a professional quilter and then in this drawer i have some more blankets for her and these are more like warm blankets not swaddle blankets and this is actually the blanket that the member made to go with. Sorry if I'm out of breath, guys. Like, that's been a really bad symptom is I'm just so out of breath. But, like, it's to go with her little baptism dress. She's got a little blanket. So, lots of homemade special things, which I think are the best. And, yeah, there I got her laundry basket with her dirty clothes. And I think that's all. Oh my God, I'm like a greasy mess. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for, Ooh, again, like just talking has gotten me like winded. How pathetic. But hopefully this gave you guys some um, ideas on how to organize her stuff. That's one thing that was so stressful for me. Like when we started getting a bunch of stuff, I'm like, and all her clothes, I'm like, how do I organize all this? Like, what do I do? So hopefully this video gave you some ideas. If you are not part of my family, hit that subscribe button right now and comment down below. Let me know that you're new so I can say hi to you and welcome you. And if you're watching this and are one of my OG fam members, giving you a big hug. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video. I love you. And yeah, I will catch you guys in my next video. Also, don't forget to like. Helps me out a bunch. And yeah, okay, for reals. Bye, guys.